Hey everybody and welcome back to Threat X3 Productions. I am Nick. Here with me today is Poetic Ninja. All right. So, we're here to talk a little bit about, you know, what we've been watching. What have we been watching, Poetic Ninja? <clears throat> well, uh I've been watching the latest uh Yasuke on Yasuke. Netflix. Yeah. Um, I'd have to say if it was really good for an anime, um, mm -hmm. I'd have to say it was probably, I, I don't know if I could match it up there with, uh, Afro Samurai, mm, okay. um, cause Afro Samurai was a different, it uh, was a different, um, was a different take overall, but I mean, as far as Yasuke, it was more like based around the samurai and samurai traditions. Mm -hmm. um and what they were dealing with in feudal feudal japan mm -hmm. so um it was it, it was very beautiful how it was um created and it actually was like a page right out of history so it was it was, it was very beautiful so yeah. what did you think about it um i loved it uh when i first saw the trailer for it uh i was like okay black samurai you know so he's obviously he's in a, a a realm or something that he's not used to that could make for a really interesting story mm -hmm. and originally i picked it up and i started watching it just because i was like you know it's it's new i'm gonna check it out or whatever and within a couple of minutes that first opening sequence i was sold absolutely <laughs> sold so first it starts off, it's like swooping down and it's fetal Japan. I'm like, okay, right. yeah, sure. And there's some guys with swords and they're like cutting other people in half and stuff. I'm like, yeah, okay. And then all of a sudden a Gundam shows up and I'm like, wait, what? That's weird. <laughs> and then these guys do this magic thing and shoot a bunch of arrows over to this other guy. Yeah. The guy picks up the arrow and all the other arrows float into the air and shoot back at him. And I'm like... Okay, I'm yeah. fucking sold. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, I was I was sold also because um for, for some reason it kind of took me back to uh Ninja Scroll mm, when okay. I first saw Ninja Scroll and how that was like so serious mm -hmm. and it was like oh my god like the, this guy had a ha, had a uh, focus yeah uh to it basically just reminded me of uh, Samurai Jack. Because he had like the fetal samurai mentality, but mm -hmm. it was set in the future, and so that's kind of like, like if you can remind me of that, but in a different, in a different way. Like I, mm -hmm. that's one thing I really liked about it. Yeah, I, I mean, I really enjoyed it, and for I mean, because I watch a lot of anime, and I'm sure you do as well. I'm mm -hmm. sure there's a lot of us out there that that do as well, and would say the same thing about this particular anime. It was really. It, it was really good, really good. Like I, I, there's no more that I could say about it, I, I, but that it was just that great. I watched all every episode. I was I was hooked. It yeah. was like there was not one time where I just had to say, okay, I'm gonna take a break right. and go watch something else. I Very stayed. bingeable, yeah, yeah. So it was like I was driven on this on this show, and and up to the very end, it was it was beautiful. Uh, every episode. So even at, at that point, I was like, man, I wish there was more. Yeah. But the, the thing is also, it's like how some animes end where like the season's over and it's like, okay, we got to tune in for the next season for, you know, whatever. But this one, it was like, there, there could be more episodes. It was just like the way they ended. It was just like, mm -hmm. yeah, it was, it was perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. Like it, it sucks on the one hand because like I wanted more, I wanted to see where it was going to go next. But also when I think back to all the, all the greats, Dragon Ball Z, um, you know, uh, uh, full metal alchemist, you know, some of those, Yeah, there are a lot of filler episodes, episodes that, while they might do something to the character right. and might develop the character, it you could also delete it from existence and it wouldn't matter. So then you have this one. It's six <coughs> episodes long. There are no fillers. It's nope. boom, 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 boom. I also yeah. like how they basically like introduced a bunch of like bad guys. Each one of them had their own like 
weird stick to him. You know, mm-hmm. you have the voodoo guy from Jamaica, and he summoned spirits to basically do the fighting for him. Yeah. You had one girl with a giant ass scythe. I was so surprised how easily she got <laughs> taken out. That was like, I was like, seriously, you're gonna do our girl like that? What the hell? <laughs> there was a freaking uh, mech, so actually more of a robot because nobody was controlling him. He was he was a sentient being or whatever, but he's a giant ass robot. Then you had a were bear. At first, I thought it was a werewolf, but then no, it's a freaking <laughs> were bear. A, a were bear, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm missing one, aren't I? Or is that uh, the the chick with the sickle? Okay, mm-hmm. the robot, mm-hmm. the, bear, the bear, the shaman, the shaman. And, the, and that's it. Isn't I, well, it? I I believe that was, and then the, and then Yasuke, and that was pretty much the, yeah. Uh, and then the their crew. leader, the, like the priest or whatever, which I thought was oh that priest was interesting. Uh. <laughs> and I also like how um, so you have this priest or whatever. Of course, he's like by the power of God, and, and it's like I'm not judging you. God is, and he puts on these brass fucking knuckles. Like what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but I like how like. We definitely thought he was the main guy, and yeah. then it pulled like kind of a switcheroo on us. Like, no, the main person's actually over here, but it yeah. didn't feel forced. Like, plenty of shows have done that in the pa- in the past, but it's kind of just felt like, oh, 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 you see that goal line you thought you got to? Nope. But in this, <laughs> they actually did it well enough where I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I, th- yeah. I, I think you could say that about the the whole the whole show like they put they jumbled a bunch of stuff together and yet it felt natural you know um another another uh movie that does that really well is uh treasure planet probably one of my favorite animated disney movies of all time but they mixed like 17th century boats and and kind of culture with futuristic stuff and you know their their mythol or their methodology for everything they created in that in that movie was basically seventy percent, you know, um, colonial stuff, thirty percent technology, and so yeah. I feel like we're getting the same thing. We're getting like seventy, maybe even eighty percent samurai, and then. 10 or 20 to 30 percent like futuristic stuff and it molds it in such a way where it's like okay i i believe this world could exist right exactly and i i i very much think that um with the uh with the culture and everything uh what they add they added the magic to it aspect to it um i think that was very much very much a thing in uh feudal feudal japan at the time Mm -hmm. you know the magic our casting magic and stuff like that so i mean even um steam powered machines at that time were considered to be magic vehicles at the time so um i mean and then it, it doesn't take away from the fact that mechs would very much uh have played a played played a role in this also yeah um and I'm I'm just glad that they didn't overpower him. Mm, I mean, because yeah. you know how in, in most anime, the main character or the protagonist is always overpowered. Yeah, like they good find point. some inner potential, and all of a sudden they unlock this potential, and they've got this super power dra- uh, of the dragon or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and which, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just it's just uh, I'm just glad that they kept him like a regular samurai. It would, yes. It would, like, yeah. overpowered and with a myth, some mythical energy or something like that so yeah 100 uh the fact that he was able to take on all these like otherworldly things but just with his sheer agility and sword play i thought was very very good because it <coughs> made his struggle like that much more um unattainable so it definitely made you think you know is he gonna make it through this yeah and they did it such a uh, a natural way and it also just shows you how how his technique and his skill how much of it he has the fact that he can take on somebody who's literally shooting ice at him or turns into a freaking bear or you know <laughs> the fact that right. he can still hold his own against these people with just his swords and his wits mm-hmm. is really probably the best thing that I like about him is, you know, here's this normal guy, you know, it's Mm -hmm. not Goku. 
It's not a <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist dude who can like create something something out of nothing. Right. It's not a vampire hunter. It's not you know it. He's just a normal ass guy. Right. He's a boatsman, you know. He's and I loved his backstory too. The fact that like he got trained by somebody, and then there was tons of people who didn't like him because he was black, and he's right. a samurai, like black samurai, woman samurai. This 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 is not yeah. the old ways, and and so especially like I, I, let's let's also talk about the visuals. Like there's a lot of like kind of dream sequences, but then there was also some just really cool things. So he meets up with this one guy that he that he had some beef with way back in the day. And um, some stuff happens. That guy becomes mortal. And when he cuts his head off, it he doesn't just cut his head off. Like, the background turns all red. His body is oh, just a yeah. black silhouette. And then when mm-hmm. he cuts his head off, the blood's coming out. So that's red as well. And uh-huh. little moments like that just adds some real personality to the show. Well, yes, it does. It, it really expresses how how the character was feeling at that point even when he was having his own little um flashbacks and stuff like that it was always this these visuals that they took you to it was just like wow this this visual um i guess you could say like a biography or mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. a backstory of how their lives played out before they became who they were or who he was yeah and it, and it was crazy because because no one knew that he was a samurai until you know everything started coming out yeah, but he was just a regular boatsman. Oh, he's just just regular boatsman. Yeah. So I mean, no one knew his story. I mean, they probably knew that he had some skill, but they didn't know that he was actually yeah. a yeah. Uh, that bratty little kid was like the only one who was like <laughs> he, he was on to him. He was on to yeah, him. Like, no, nah, you're a warrior, dude. Exactly. You teach yeah. Stuff. <laughs> exactly. He was the only one <laughs> that was able to scope it out. Everyone was just oblivious to it. Like, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah. But they knew that y- Yasuke was, a, um, or he knew that Yasuke was a warrior yeah. of some sort. Because of course, yeah, some guy's just not going to just, you know, be able to, you know, know how to swing around a sword and, you know. Yeah. So then we have the 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 little girl or whatever. Uh, it's a bit tropey because it's like you have the kind of MacGuffin person who has like special abilities. How do you think they handled that? Um, I think they did that very pretty well. I mean, uh, although. Um, it could have been like some golden child moment where he's trying to rescue the golden child <laughs> whatever, you know, how like and uh, Eddie Murphy going after the golden child or whatever. Mm-hmm. So it, it could have been one of those moments. He had a protector, but she had power. I mean, that, I thought that was pretty cool because yeah. it's not like, oh, she's just little, just wimpy little girl or whatever. She can teach, she can handle her own. Yeah. She didn't, she didn't, she didn't need Yasuke there, but she wanted him there to, you know, help like guide her and stuff like that. Uh, even she was going to protect them. She even said it in the show, like she wanted him to go with her to, yeah. you know, go see that doctor. So um, I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, I don't think giving her power was a bad thing. I think it would have been really bad if they would have gave him power. If they would have yeah, given him yeah. all this power, and it would have been pretty meaningless. And I would have stopped watching it. Even if, yeah. even if it was just six episodes, I would have stopped watching it after that. Yeah, that's a good point. It was like two sides of a coin. You have her side of the coin, which she has a lot of power, sheer power, but right. she is timid. She is weak. And then right. on his side, he has no power, but he has all the agility, the strength. And so putting them together kind of was like a puzzle piece kind yeah. of fitting together. It, it was like polarity kind of. Kinda yeah. Like it's like one one and the other or duality or whatever you want to call it. Mm. So. And it worked perfectly, worked perfectly because yeah. uh, the relationship that they built also, I mean, even though I thought the mom was going to play a role because she was kind of like the <laughs> protector of the daughter, but it seemed like the, the mom got obliterated. <laughs> like right. her, the, 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 actually the daughter killed her. So yeah, it's right. like, man, <laughs> it's kind of messed up. Yeah. But um, also even the relationship between um, between Yasuke and... The, the woman that he like he killed i guess so the, mm-hmm. i guess I, I wonder if they would like i i wonder if they could have flourished that relationship between them out more but then again it, it was it was fine the way it was because like yeah. you know how and japanese culture is like okay you the women die it's not like you're gonna be, get all emotional about it mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like okay we'll just keep fighting yeah <laughs> and that, i, that, I, I liked how think. it was more like of an unspoken thing like 
they were sparring partners. They really respected each other. But mm-hmm. the, it was definitely more unspoken, like, yeah, I want to do you, but we <laughs> yeah. have this other responsibility. And so exactly. yeah, having him kill her was more emotional because it's like they never got to get to that get point. That, yeah, and get so that, that almost level. made it more heartbreaking is that, you know, right. like we could have been something, but you had yeah. to betray us. So yeah. now, do you know who voiced the uh, the samurai, the back samurai, Yasuke? Um... I forgot his name. Something Thomas? No, no, no. Lakeith Stanfield. Yes, that's his name. <laughs> Damn, motherfucker. I like him. <laughs> After the first episode, um, it was killing me. I was like, it sounds like that guy from This Is Us. Black guy, really deep voice. Oh, yeah. He's been in a couple of things. Like He was in Frozen. He was one of the tribal guys in Frozen. He's done a couple oh, of voice okay. acting, but like uh, you know him more for like his face and that, and that freaking voice. And it was like it was close enough where I thought it was that guy because you know I'm not used to the Keith sounding like that. Um, and so then I looked it up. I'm like, oh, I love him. Um, <laughs> sorry to bother you. Um, Atlanta, you know, tons of stuff. I love him in. So it's like when I found out it was him, I was like, oh, there we go. Next level of appreciation Perfect. right yes. there. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, so, definitely, definitely. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, we didn't give too much away. You know, you could, yeah. you could still go watch it. Um, really good. It's only six episodes, about 20 minutes a pop. So it's a real good just like weekend binge or whatever. Absolutely right. loved it. So you guys go check it out. Um, I was Nick. And this is Poetic Ninja. And you guys go ahead and have yourself a good one. <laughs>